That's right. 27,500 RPM on 35% nitro glow fuel, the smallest production engine in the world, and a gem for sure, is the Cox 010TD. Hello, folks. Well, as many of you have seen lately, I have been running some of my nitro engines, including my Cox 020s, 049TDs, my Wankel Rotary, and the Sato 4-stroke. But the price of those 010 TDs are astronomical, and I don't have one anymore, so I really hadn't thought about trying to replace it. But Jason, a subscriber, messaged me that his uncle was selling one on eBay, so I went knowing that I wanted to replace the one that I used for my flying shop rag videos since it was lost in the fire. So off to eBay I went. I knew I would win, and I did. Anyway, it came, and I found it quite gummed up, but nothing was really broken. So here I'm showing the parts during the cleanup, the fixing and tightening of the piston rod to the piston, and then we're going to run them. So here we go. So you can see down in there there's a ball that that piston, is, the rod is connected to in there, and we're going to tighten that up. And I have the tool to do it with. So you put the piston in here, and then you take this tool, and you place that like this. Now, we just wanna tap it and go around. And now, there's no slop, so let's put it back together. There it is. Let's run it. So there you go, folks. If you've been following me, you have now seen the most popular of the three Cox engines run lately, and I hope it brings back some memories for you old folks like me that grew up on these. You know, we didn't have computers, phones, internet, or anything like that back in the day, but we had good clean fun after the ball games at the Ball Diamond flying these things. Thanks so much for watching, and please stay tuned because Darren sent me a box of goodies with a Hirobo shuttle in it. I have since put it together and will be flying it as soon as the weather ever gets better. So this is a night flyer, and we'll see you next time.